already. Good afternoon, folks. It's, uh, what us say, Thursday afternoon. I'm gonna do a little stage in here. I gotta use a couple more on personal vehicles. I've had a couple people wanna know exactly how to load a car on here and strap it down. So we're gonna call this an instructional video today on how to properly do this. Sorry it ain't with real customers' cars, but I, when I get to their houses, I don't have time to do it. So right now I got a fr friend of mine that's helping me with the camera, so let's get it on. First thing I do is come in here. I got a PTO button in here. Kicks on the PTO so that way everything works. These handles here control my bed, winch, and everything. Well, this one brings the bed back. One right here beside it here makes it tilt. This up here is the PTO brake. Now I'm gonna disengage it so it's free spins. vehicles there's different ways to hook them up this car's got a couple ways the best way to hook this one up is right here on this particular car it has a couple hooks here in the front which is this right here can you see that I hope you can see that there's a couple different ways to hook this you can hook it like this but when you pull on it sometimes these come out so I always put them on the inside of the hook There's another hook right here, which I'm gonna put on the inside of it. Now, if you look down here, that's a lot of chain coming off. It won't let me get the thing on the truck properly. So this is what we call shortening up the chain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these hooks right here, put it centered with the car, grab my tow chain, I mean the other part of this chain here, I'm gonna lock it in place there. We're gonna lock it in place here. That way when it pulls, it shortened the way up. Now I can get completely on my truck where it needs to be. Now I'm gonna come back up here. I'm gonna release this brake. That way I can use a PTO. Now you've all seen me mess with this cable every time I go load a car up and the reason why we do that for because if you look right there where that cable goes in I know it's probably kind of hard to see but you want that thing to be wound up pretty where there ain't no kinks or cracks or anything in it. Because what happens was, when I go to pull that back out, and if it's not lined up perfectly, then it snatches and it's a pain in the butt to pull out. Now we're gonna go back into the car. As you can see, my chain is tight, so the car is not gonna go anywhere. That way, if you're out here on the streets and you put the car in neutral, you ain't gotta worry about it taking off on you. Reach in here and turn the key on. Put the car in neutral and shut the key off. Don't try to get the key out of the ignition because it ain't going to come out. You come back up here. And the middle one here works the winch. trying to keep the car as straight as I can on the bed. And the reason why that is, when you get to where you're taking it, a lot of places, if it's not straight on the bed, you'll have a lot of fun getting into the parking spot. And on my particular truck, every truck's a little bigger and a little different, I like to stop the wheels about right here where these hooks are, where you put the chain hooks. That lets me know all my straps will reach. Come back in here, 
I reach in here and I put them in park. Pull the key out. Always put the keys in your pocket. Always. Don't leave them in the car because the car is locked on you. And then the other thing I do, I want to make sure that that's got a good park gear on it. So I release the cable and let the car roll back. Do that for two reasons. I want to make sure it's not going to roll off the truck. I want to make sure when I pick this bed up, it doesn't roll into my headache rack. Because if a customer standing there and you tear up the car, you just bought a car. Now when the bed gets almost all the way up, you're going to slowly let off the brake, off this handle so it stops. You don't want to slam it up there because then you break stuff. Now for this video purpose, I'm going to shut the PTO off so y'all can hear me better. If I was picking up a customer's car, I'd leave it on. Everybody sets up their trucks differently. Mine set up here. I got all my straps right here. And I'll explain to it as I'm doing it. So I got two up and down. One goes over right here. Two of those down. One of those over. One here. Now everybody sets up the truck differently like I said. Some people leave two straps on this side and two straps on that side. I don't do that and I'll tell you why here in a minute. Put the strap in here. And the chain goes in here. And it just locks right into place. Now I'll leave those kind of tight, kind of loose on that first one. I'm just gonna repeat the process four times here. Walk through the uh, Put the hooks back here where they stay in place. And this one here I'm going to crank down. And when you see it squinching the tires, that tells you that thing is tight. It ain't going nowhere. A lot of people go through the frames and different things of tying these down. But the problem with that is, as you know, is everybody out here wants to sue somebody and get the quick dollar. So, I like to go through, over the tires. Make sure this hook here ain't touching the rim at all. Because all we're doing is squeezing on rubber. So we're not going to hurt the tire at all. Makes my boss happy too when he don't get complaints. See that one's tight. It takes just a couple minutes to do this. Same principle, put it through the hole here, strap her down. Now as you see, I didn't come up on the tire too much and now I'm touching the fender. That's bad. Can you see the fender? See where the strap here is touching the fender? That's bad, you don't want that to happen. So just release it. Just back this thing up just a tad bit, that's all you gotta do. Crank her down. The idea is you don't want nothing touching this car at all. Now, the reason why I keep my stuff over there and I don't do like everybody else, and I got two here and two over there, you just seen I just did that. I walked all the way around. Now, if I had my two straps over here, I'd have to do that side, walk up here, grab these straps, and do this side. Now, here's the kicker. You got to come back and make sure the stuff's checked. I'll be tight. So, why do the stuff two or three times when you can do it once and be done with it? So, I'm done. That one's tight. This one here's tight. <coughs> this one here is tight. Now we know we left the first one loose a little bit. As you can see, it did tighten itself up. So we're going to give it an extra little tightness. And there it is. And you want the chain up front here to be laying on the bed. You don't want that thing tight where it's pulling against the car. Because if it breaks something, 
radiator support, bumper, anything, you're paying for it. So that's how you properly load a car up and tie it down. This car is not going to go anywhere. The only way it's going to come off of here if I mess up and flip the truck over. Otherwise, that car ain't going nowhere. All right. Here's a proper way to take this car off. To pretend I just pulled up to the dealership. I'm going to get out of my truck and I'm getting out. I'm going to walk over to this side. First, going to start by this. Oh, you know what? I messed up, folks. I'm sorry. I got ahead of myself. Hold on just a second. Let me climb back in my truck. Pretend I'm starting this again. Kick on the PTO before I get out of the truck. So anyway, just pretend I just did that, okay? So I don't look like an idiot. But I'll come back around here to the passenger side. Undo the strap. Throw it over. Now throw it over. Same principle here. Bring it with me. Throw it up. Throw these up. Lay it down there. Now the next step I do is I take the winch and I tighten up that chain underneath that car. Just a little bit. The reason why I do that is so when I strap this car and I bring it back and it's down, when I reach in and put it in neutral, it doesn't have any slack in the car and it won't take off, break the chain, and hurt me. So grab this stuff. I come up here. Sorry. I make sure I got everything as I put them in here. I always count to myself. I know it sounds kind of stupid, but that's the way I do it. There's one strap, there's two straps, there's three steps. I'm gonna hook this other one. Here's my fourth strap. I'm gonna take my buckles, lay it in here, and the main reason why I count to myself is so that way I know. My stuff is here, so that way when I go to my next job, I'm not missing a strap or two because I left it on the ground. And then you look like a, an idiot trying to figure out how you're gonna load the car. So we come back here. On my truck, it's the first handle. Raise the bed back. And then grab the second handle, which brings it up. my chain's tight. And sometimes you might get a little extra snug just to make sure. So that way when you come back here, here's the key. Don't ever put them in your front pockets because you put them in your front pockets, you'll never find them. It's always in my short pocket. And like that, like a dummy, I dropped the keys. Put my hand on the brake just to make sure. Plus, you gotta put the hand on the brake to release the car into neutral. Shut the key off. Pull up the middle handle. Car rolls back. back here you know take your gloves off because you don't want to get inside of nobody's car already reach in there and put the car in park grab the keys out put them back in your pocket now as you can see right here I have no room I mean I could get that but I had to fight with it so the easiest way to do this on this is come back up here <coughs> pull out the brake again release the, the drum just bring the bed to me. 
Bring it up a little ways. Bring the bed back, chain slack. Now I got plenty of room to work with. Just reach underneath here. Now look it. Job done. Now. By the way, baby. Oh. I've had other people ask me, why do I always put my cables back, my chain back in the same place? It's a very simple reason for that. You see people all the time with chains just dangling back here in the back. It never fails when you get to where I'm going, this will be on that side. And I need it here. Just saving me steps and energy. And again, I'm going to tighten up my cable. Oh, wait a minute, i got to release the brake. Tighten it all the way up. You see, I got a little slack in here. It's good. The main reason, the other reason why I do this is because if this is on back on the back of the truck, it's doing this number all over the truck. If a cop gets behind you, that's not a secure load, and he can pull you over. And if he pulls you over, you're getting a ticket. Trust me. I don't care how nice you are to a cop. He pulls a commercial vehicle over, you're getting a ticket. If you ever drove a commercial vehicle, you know if you get a ticket from the cop, you just lost your paycheck. I'm not out here to support the government. I pay my taxes and that's all they need from me. Push that down, brings my bed up. Puts it all back together, it looks good. Let's go up on the bed somewhere. Now, if you look up at my bed, it all looks neat and organized. You don't want nothing looking too trashy because you don't want the cops pulling you over. That's what it's all about. Thank you. Well, thank you. I hope that was educational for you. I'm going to do my own personal truck here in a minute. Sorry, I'm hot out here. It's 90 some degrees out here. You know what to do? Like and subscribe. I need all your help. Bye, guys.